all right guys how are you doing so if you go to the user index page and click on a user's name so far we just have one user so we're going to manage it if you click on a user's name um, what you will see is these details so first of all we're going to remove the back button we need to clean things up so we'll go to resources under users we're going to um, show and we're looking at this back button look at it we're going to delete it it's gone thank you very much we don't need it and then we can go to show fields let's refresh and be sure that it's gone and um, it's gone oh we need to log in we'll eventually sort this out sort this out once we get to the topic uh, we're logged in and um, it's out so we need to know when the user logged in joined but we don't really need to know when they updated their profile for what why do we need to know, know it so this is gone updated is gone but join we're going to do format and then we're going to do d d m y that is the format we need we we'll refresh and i'm going to, I'm going to change created that to join all right wednesday yeah we're going to do joined so i think we need the hour the person joined and the minutes so we're going to change it to joined so that anybody looking at the profile will know exactly you joined at 3 a.m. And like before, we don't nobody needs to see the password and remember token. So we're gonna work with removing the remember token and the password. Both of them are gone. And then remember how we did the other one? We're gonna work with the role. So we're going to look at the role. Where is it? The role. Role. So we can call it user level or something user level okay so the row here remember we created this we can call it name beautiful and then we can call this and this is okay so instead of just putting name here I think one thing we can do is I uh, would depend on your design we can just copy this and paste on top of this place I think we just leave it here the ID um, this is the ID we're going to delete it I copied it then I'm going to go to the show blade and put it here so that anybody looking at the user page can be able to easily tell the ID look at if I refresh so the ID shows one so if admin ever needs to work with the user or anything the ID is already displaying so we've cleaned up the user page isn't that beautiful um, like like I told you, I don't want to do so many fancy designs with a user profile picture and blah 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 slides and all. We just want to get our prototype beautiful and working neatly. All right. So see you in the next video. So far, we've completed the cleanup series. Now we're going to enter into the user levels and uh, permissions and authorization management levels. For instance, um, in transactions, only the admin. And the person that owns the transactions need to see the details of the transaction and they you understand so if you're not an admin and you're not the person that owns the qr code and you're not the person that owns the transaction you can't see it that's one another aspect is that um, when people are looking at the transactions table they should be able to see only transactions that are related to them so a qr code um like somebody should be able to see only transactions that they created they shouldn't see everyone's transaction only admin can see everyone's transactions do you understand if you're an admin cool you see every transaction if you are a webmaster cool you see only the transactions to your products that's all you get you see only transactions that are connected to your products then if you're a normal user you see only transactions that only you performed that's it so those are authorizations and permissions we need to look into into the next videos all right thank you very much see you